Okay, and uh, welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 with uh, Drust and his intrepid companions. Uh, we just bolted back here to sell some stuff. And now we're off again. So let's take a look at the map. We can remember what key it is. Oh, here it is right here. Uh, here, here we go. Here we are at the, uh, I don't know which we're there, but we can go to uh, any of these places. I want to go to the west. We have open up over here. Anything? It's opened up over here. There's some of the ruins. Blighted Village. It's past that. Oh, we don't have those yet. So, looks like we're going to travel back to the Blighted Village. And go from there. Let's see how effective that is. a step. The skulls were careful for work. She didn't see me.
with haste. Making my move. Keep me guessing. What should I do? I must be on my way. Forever dauntless. Deep and move. Thank you. No holding back. Don't look.
What's in here? Mm. A game for surface children. Take a short rest here. We can keep going a little longer now. Alrighty. Searched all them. What else is over here? Light on my feet. here dead tiefling <clears throat> Look, there's goblins over here. Let's kill these guys, shall we? You sent for a moonrise, drow. Cause otherwise I'll have to cut ya. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Still, huh? Okay, then we will. There's blood in the air.
were other ones too, weren't there? It's that one there. Keep your distance, darling. Neither seen nor heard. Quietly. He didn't die. Who's my bear, by the way? them. You sniffing where you ain't ought to be, friend. Might have to take that nose. <laughs> really? As Goblins are not good at math, apparently. Power courses through you. Authority. Did I not hit the arrow? No, I didn't. Okay. What's hiding here? A 
nothing. A dead body. How much farther can I go? I guess my people are tired. Let's, uh, let's go over here. And we'll do a camp over here. To talk. Here's a chest over there. I should speak up. Yes. Why do you insist on exhuming the past? I was a slave. A vampire spawn. Kept by the Tsar family. Perhaps I still am. I was never able to resist their commands. But now, I've been conveniently lost. They won't ever control me again. All right. Mr. Grumpy Pants, got it. Oh, what's her face is over here. Talk to her. I wasn't expecting it, but I'm glad to have some company on this journey. She's got nothing to say, so. Let me go into my inventory here. to wares. Oh, who can I send this to? Send it to Gale. If I ever do anything with him, he'll need it. So hold on though for now. Okay. Who else can we talk to? Where's the Starion? What the hell does she have? Some kind of creepy dead thing in her little place there. Speak. Okay. He's sterling conversationalist there. Well met. All right. Hello, bear. All right. Let's just do. Seems simple enough. The end of the day thing. We can get back out there. All right, who was you? Oh, okay. God, Gale. Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. No. Why don't we take a little break? Hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest. Gives me a chance to talk to you about something. Well, 
rather important. Okay. We've been on the road together for a while now, haven't we? Not really. Hmm? Survived some perils, overcame some obstacles. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. The way you diffused the tension to know between seen Zevlor all that, and Aradin, he's been in camp the, whole the time. way you stood in front of a crossbow to prevent a murder, the way you got Korga to release the girl, the way you got that boy out of a harpy's clutches. In short, I've grown to trust you. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul, except for my cat. You see, I have this condition, very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. The specifics are rather personal, but suffice it to say that it is a malady I've learned to live with, though not without some effort. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. I can say no more on the matter. Not now, anyway. Just trust me when I say it's all of vital importance. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, since before we were abducted. It's only a matter of time before my craving returns. That is why I turn to you. I need you to help me find magic items to consume. It is vital. Dare I say it? Critical. You have my thanks. And fear not. Your implicit trust is well placed and will be rewarded with any and all means at my disposal. I'm sure we won't have to look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic-infused treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We have such an item already in our possession. Primed for the moment the need arises. I hope I can count on you. I'm going to have to feed him anyway. And I can just take them. And maybe give up Will? Now who wants to talk? Oh, Nastarian. Okay. What do you want? You're not feeding off of me again. There you are. I was just thinking about you. And that delicious moment we shared the other night. The very same. I've had this condition for two centuries, but truth be told, <clears throat> you're my first. In all these years, I've only ever fed on beasts. Drinking the blood of thinking creatures is a different thing entirely. You were delectable. And now I can't help but wonder how the others taste. Alas, it doesn't hurt to ponder the question, though. Take Gale, for example. He strikes me as someone whose blood is rich, refined like well-aged brandy. But the gift? What in the hells would she taste like? Hmm. <sighs> yes, heaven forbid we have an interesting conversation. Still... I am intrigued by the possibilities. <sighs> Absolutely. A mere thought experiment. So, in the spirit of theoretical questions, if you had to take a bite from one of them, who would it be? A fine choice. She is enticing. Although, the more I think on it, the hungrier I get. I better go find something I can actually get my teeth into. Uh, there's nothing that tasty lurking out in the woods, but I'll make do. Uh, sweet dreams. 
creepy. It's that dog. Ready then. Let's see. Well, been at it for a half an hour, folks, and well, we had a little bit of uh, some adventures there with murdering some bad guys. We are on the way into the swamps, I believe, that goes right around this path up here, and that's going to take a while. Um, so, why don't we end it there for the week and? Thank you for watching up until this point. Uh, tune in next week for uh, a drow in a swamp. What could go wrong? <laughs> Thanks for watching.